Our newly redesigned step-down butt connector is made with a seamless step-down barrel, insulated with an adhesive-lined heat shrink tubing. The connector has indicators to ensure the barrel is crimped in the proper location. Colored stripes on either end to indicate the wire size and or crimp die. A window for inspection to ensure the wires are properly seated. A wire stop to prevent over insertion and a uniform copper wall for a sound mechanical crimp. Our step down differs from a conventional step down connector because it is tapered with a uniform wall thickness. The conventional step down butt connector has a copper insert to allow for the insertion of a smaller wire. The problem with this design is that it is extremely difficult to obtain a sound mechanical crimp due to the varied wall thickness. Extreme force is required to crimp the end for the smaller wire size and the wire can be easily pulled out after crimping. Our innovative step down butt connector with the tapered design and uniform wall thickness allows the user to install both sides easily and provide a sound termination. When compared side by side, our innovative tapered design has crimped substantially more and has achieved a sound mechanical crimp. Additionally, our new step-down design is color-coded on both ends to indicate the wire gauge size as well as which crimp die to use, unlike the conventional step-down. These are available in non-insulated, sealed crimp connector line and our sealed crimp and solder Installation line. Installation instructions for the sealed crimp step-down butt connector. Strip the wire ends to 5 sixteenths of an inch. Select a connector that matches the wire gauge and insert the wire into the correct end of the step-down butt connector. Make sure the wire is properly seated and crimp the connector using an insulated connector crimping tool nest that matches the color or gauge of the connector. Repeat the prior steps for the other side of the connector, ensuring the correct crimp die is used. Apply heat evenly around the length of the tubing, including the crimp area, from the center out to the ends until the tubing fully recovers and the adhesive flows. Remove the heat, make sure the ends are sealed, and let cool.